The Diane Sanchi was first released in 2011 and it became many people's instant mains. It was widely considered to be the best speed cube on the market, but with all the newer speed cubes coming out, is it still such a great cube? The Diane Sanchi can be purchased at a variety of stores for anywhere from 9 to 13 US dollars. It comes in 42, 50, 55, and 57 millimeter variants and is available in a variety of colors. The turning of the Zanchi is very fast and clicky and has a slight bumpiness to it as well. It's also important to note that while newer cubes do feel a bit different from the Zanchi, the turning definitely does not disappoint. Additionally, although this cube can vary greatly depending on how you choose to set it up, generally this cube is somewhat quiet with the only distinct sound being the slight clicks and snaps during faster turning and solves. For example, if you lubricate it with a heavier lube, it gets extremely smooth while still retaining its speed. While other aspects of this cube are comparable to more modern speed cubes today, the corner cutting falls a bit short. The cube cuts around 45 degrees. Reverse corner cutting is where the cube begins to disappoint. It can only reverse cut about half a cube, and even this requires a notable amount of force. While this is not particularly bad, it doesn't quite reach a cube's full potential. Cubes such as the Gans 356 and 357 and Guoguan Yuixiao easily exceed the Zanchi in corner cutting. As far as the mechanism goes, there's nothing too complex with the Zanchi. It has blocky pieces which help contribute to its feel. The cube also includes torpedoes which help to prevent, but not completely stop, popping. Pops do happen on here when trying to corner cut too much in either direction, and they usually tend to involve multiple pieces. Unlike most modern speed cubes today, the Zanchi lacks any sort of anti-corner twisting mechanism, such as the squared off corner design of the Gans in recent Moyu puzzles. Due to this, corner twisting could be a significant issue on this cube for some people. Also, because of the limited reverse corner cutting mentioned earlier, the Zanchi can be prone to minor lockups if you tend to undershoot while turning. Overall though, even by today's standards, the Zanchi is still a solid puzzle. It's still many beginners' first choice for a speed cube, and I would still recommend it to beginners, although it is slightly outdated. Many of the ideas first used in the Zanchi, such as its simple mechanism, have led to the development of budget 3x3s today, such as the YJ Guanlong, Sulong, Qilong, and Qi Yi Sail. Not only did the Zanchi give the basis for many of the budget 3x3s today, but the mechanism of almost every single speed cube has its roots in the Zanchi. So that's it for this review on the Diane Zanchi. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to buy this throwback cube, the link will be in the description below.